Welcome back to my channel. I'm Shika Goyal, illustrator, and it's time to level up your illustration. So this is the 13th episode of my digital illustration series on Coral Draw. And in this episode, we are going to learn how to make print. Print kaise banai? Usse pehle hum sikhenge motif kaise banai aur se print mein kaise convert kare so that we could insert that do, uh, that print in the garment or whatever object you want. So if you want a printed cushion, you want a printed a wardrobe, whatever. So for that, you need to know how to develop print. And watch my series full, watch this video full so that you could understand how and how to manage and how to apply different techniques on each step. So yeah, watch this video full. And yeah, if you are new to my channel, then do watch my series of Coral Draw from the part one from first episode so that you could understand how and how and what is the flow of our coral draw training from where you should start and from where you should make it to advanced level. So do subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, then hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and also the bell icon so that for my every video you could get notified. So let's start our training session and let me just open my page. So in this video, we will learn how to make prints. And for that, let's start making a motif. For example, let's take a rectangle. Firstly, I let you know a basic tool for that. So if this is, this is a rectangle, right? Here's a tool that is called distort. Distort. And if you will apply that on a any kind of any kind of shape that will gonna distort that shape into different forms. So if I take this circle and let's see, let's apply this distort tool. So it will just change its, its shapes and you can change the shape to whatever you want. You can make it like that or whatever, whatever shape you want. So here, I if I want this shape only, and let's say to make it green and make the hairline none, do the basic shaping like here, the shape has been has been but so let's go to the distort tool again and do it properly. So if I do it here and let's do the shaping. So shaping will, you can see the shape tool is not allowed in this tool. So uh, here we have to mention that this is how we will change the different shapes into another different shapes, like whatever the distort can make. So here, uh, the second thing we need to understand is you can also make the shape of your desire. Like you can shape, uh, you can trace any shape, you can press any print, you can trace anything from your imagination. So here, if I again just share my screen with you and if I show you one thing that so if I share my screen starting from here again and let's just zoom out first let's just zoom out and if I say is that I want some flower or and leaves in that. So let's make a flower. And let's make two circles. One is for the rotation. So let's do it with brown. Or let's do it with black. That is more convenient. Another let's do with yellow and 
do the hairline none also i want to make it interactive fill so one with dark yellow and another i want with very very light yellow like this much is good for me okay or you can even do orange over here so it's your choice whatever shade you want to add you can do the same so again if i want i will rotate this i want to some sunflower kind of texture over here sunflower kind of thing so let's choose its center to the center of this one and apply and if i do change the angle to 20 let's see what happens so 20 pe hamara yahan pe sunflower create ho gaya agar aapko distance badhana hai so aap aur badha sakte ho it's up to you it's totally up to you so this is what i wanted theek hai uske baad let's do the control g or you can do combine so there is one sunflower that i have uske baad let's do the replica of it and you can see over here so i want to create a replica so i need the same distance and the same spacing in the replicas of it so let's do one copy i need some more space over here so let's say it to be around 80 and uh, let's see what happens so space has been created more space has been created over here and if i save it to be up and uh, let's say 76 is not perfect i need 80 so done 80 done similarly on the if we do that on the left so again i need the same distance so that was 80 so change it to 80 again and do the same over here change it to 80 80 and again done uske baad uske baad what we are going to do is just uh select all of them and do the right click and let's do so we need more spacing over here so let's delete it i need more spacing so let's increase it by two more to 58 and now it's good it's perfect the way i wanted it to be so that is why we we just choose this tool transformation because it create its replica on a particular proportion of distance so let's group all of them let's say group and make a control g so now it is ready to be inserted wherever you want wherever so suppose if there is any garment any object whatever let's make a rectangle and let's do select this if go to effects and do the power clipping and place inside container so let's see what happens after editing content is you can place them and you can finish editing this label and this is how it's been created so the funda is that we have to make a motif or whatever design you want to make then you have to make a replica and do your formations so uh, once again so if i say that let's make a garment let's make a garment so that means let me just shape it out and just increase the outline of it by 3 and shape it so let's see what happens
from one node to another, then make the bus tier. And after that, just make the waist white inside. All right, uske baad, let's make the flares as well. So for the flares, let's just do one thing. Make it more flaring from here and from here, add another flare from here. So this is randomly we are doing over here. So you can make your perfect outfit according to your preference. I'm doing it all random over here without tracing it on a croquis. Don't do this thing, okay? So I'm showing this only to show you guys how to do this thing. So if we are making this shape and we just drag this to here. All right, and drag this line to here. And this line to here. Okay, and let's just add one node for the sides and remove this one from here. So if this is a sundress and let me just extract the object contents from here and insert this on the effects power clip place inside container and edit contents. Let's see what happens. If you want to just decrease the size, you can just simply decrease and Now make the replica of it. Make the replica to here. And finish editing this label. And done. Let's just remove the outline from here or make it to only hairline. After that, let's say how to make the folds. So make some fold like this and simply color and remove the outline after that again make some folds color it and just remove the outline so this is how we will make our fold area. And remove the line. So now you can see this is how we will insert our prints and whatever uh, you are creating, you will have to insert that then simply make whatever dress or whatever garment you want to do. And after that, that will be done, totally done. So here you need to observe how to make print, how to just create a perfect space using the transformation tool. Insert that in your garment, whatever you are making or any object, any kind of 
and do it, do that properly while doing edit contents make sure again the spacing should be proper in the object in the print and that will be done so do try this at home and let me know your reviews in the comment section thank you so much for watching